Welcome back to another episode of Rambling with Rhino. Ooh, first week of college football season in the books. And not a really whole lot to talk about. Uh, the collapse of Michigan, Miami, and Florida State. That's about all that, 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 that came out of that week. Uh, a lot of teams dominated. Uh, those teams embarrassed themselves, I think. Um, but there's still a long way to go. So we'll see how... We'll see how that goes from from this point on. Not a lot of big games this week. Uh, Georgia, South Carolina, Clemson, Clemson, Texas A&M, and Stanford, Southern Cal are about the only three that really on my radar. But but one big thing that's still being talked about uh, after after the weekend is Nick Saban and his interaction with the uh, sideline reporter for ESPN. Here's the problem. Um, yeah, did he overreact? I'm sure. You know, most people would think he did to a certain degree. But you got to look at it this way. Um, since Tua completed that pass against Georgia in the national championship game, people have been asking Nick Saban about a quarterback controversy. And, you know, it really doesn't matter to him because no matter who wins the job, you know, he's got the best quarterback. We all probably figured it was going to be Tua just because the inability for Jalen Hurts to stretch the field with his arm. But regardless – it's not a big issue because, you know, once the decision is made, that's who he's going with. And, and yeah, I, he answered it in a, a, a gruff manner, I guess, the old angry guy answering the question. But you got to look at it. it. It's not like, um, you know, a Spurrier or a Tom Osborne or back to a Bear Bryant type day. It's uh, a, a social media age. So as soon as the answer – um, is given there's going to be 20 quote unquote narratives that come out of it you know whether it's you know wh- whether it's a controversy whether Jalen Hurts should transfer whether it's the only reason he starts to us because he's recruiting his brother also and, and, that, and that's the problem there's so many blogs and and I guess you could say podcasts like this and uh websites of people who come up with the reasons why, and, and the reason why I believe is Tua is the better football player. Uh, he runs as good and throws better, and he gives Alabama the, a chance to win every game by more than they normally would. Uh, I don't think it's a controversy at all, and, and I don't think there's any reason for him to announce in February, March, April, you know, any time who's the quarterback he is up until, you know, they take the field because it really only affects Alabama. You know, it really doesn't you know, affect any sports reporter, ESPN, or the other team. Um, you know, now Tua has been named a starter, and, and that's what we all expected. But you, you got to look at it. It's, it's a social media age, so there's always that underlying um, factor of how somebody going to take it and then what are they going to say. And Nick Saban's probably well aware of that, uh, his many years of coaching. And the thing is, he's the best at what he does. So... How can you really dispute anything of the way he does it? He's the best. He's what every coach wants to be, you know, championship after championship and and at two different SEC schools. So uh, I really don't think you can question Nick Saban, maybe the way he answers the question, but you can't really question his tactics and why he does the, what, the things the way he does. Another topic is Colin Kaepernick that came up uh, as of yesterday. Darren Ravel uh, revealed that Kaepernick's still on the contract with Nike and um, he will be the face of the 30th anniversary of Just Do It. Uh, this is nothing more than a media uh, blitz for them. It's something that, you know, it's hard to keep re- reinventing LeBron and uh, Michael Jordan and, and Kevin Durant. This is a, the perfect storm of, I guess, controversy, but media attention that will sell more shoes. I mean, Nike hasn't been in the forefront of saying, yeah, we're, uh, we're behind Kaepernick for the last two seasons. None of this time when, when, when all this uh, kneeling down for the anthem or whatever has been taking place. Yeah, it's nothing more than, you know, getting rallying around and you figure you're taking the minority segment of the community 
which is, you know, blacks, Latinos, Asians, maybe you're taking them, you're taking the liberal side, um, fighting for the rights kind of thing. And, and you're trying to get more of a majority to buy your shoe. Any reason that you would put down the ASICs and pick up the Nike or put down the Under Armour and pick up the Nike and, you know, Nike's stock dropped like three and a half percent this morning. But I, I personally, I think it's going to be a positive for them because, more people just because of the attention even bad attention is good attention you know they hadn't done anything necessarily wrong but they're using this uh to their advantage so i can see where maybe you know they gain a, a good bit of market share over under armor reebok adidas you know puma stuff like that so but 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 you know it's the same company that pays you know 12 year old boys um three dollars an hour to make a hundred and forty dollar pair of tennis shoes so equal rights and aclu issues and stuff like that that's really not what nike's about you know they never have been um it's about getting richer it's kind of like apple versus samsung it's a you know it, it's kind of like uh the nike and under armor under armor gave a little bit of a little bit of competition so nike's boosting it back out there and, and their stocks four times the price of under armor so it's not like they're hurting at all but it's just another factor to go along with jordan and lebron and kevin durant <clears throat> to give them more of the market share that's all it is and until they get into the flip-flop market it won't make me one bit of difference because tennis shoes are the last thing on my mind as far as shoes it's tennis uh flip-flops in the summer and boots in the winter so I i'm out of that demographic i guess um thirdly um world cup i mean Ryder cup is shaping up i know a lot of people don't really care about that but if you like sports Ryder cup is somewhat like an olympic sport you don't watch a lot of it until it comes down to where the Ryder cup is the united states versus the world pretty much and it's a, 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 a smack, a smack talking fest. It's a, a lot of antics, champagne, and and jumping around and stuff. And it's a heck of an event. Um, and it looks like today they'll be naming the uh, 9th, 10th, and 11th player on the team with the coaches pick the 12th coming the, uh, next week. But it looks like Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, and Bryson DeChambeau will be the three coaches picks that come out today. And that adds even more. <clears throat> luster to the uh head up, heads up competition between Phil and tiger that's coming up thanksgiving weekend um everybody you know they're, they're polarizing figures tiger's still the most polarizing guy you know whether he's struggling or or stroking it so th those three picks will come out today and in the fourth which it looks like it may be tony finau so he's played a, a lot of good golf but Ryder cup if you hadn't ever watched it it's it's uh it's it's kind of like country club golf, you know, where where people are loud and and the, the galleries, you know, trash talk the other country depending on where they're at. You know, if they're in the United States, uh, they trash talk the Englanders, and and if they're in England, those guys trash talk the Americans, and it, it's usually a good time. So, looking forward to seeing that team. You know, I don't watch a lot of golf, but I do watch the majors and I do like the Ryder Cup. So. We'll see who's on that team as of today. Stay tuned. I'll have a college weekend preview coming up as well as the NFL. It kicks off on Thursday night. So keep your ears on.